uh, okay energy which which one is more stable which one is less stable so here is the energy level diagram for the stability so cyclopentane is a ring that undergoes a true inversion of conformation it means that one puckered conformation is into another by passing through a transition state okay so this molecule this puckered molecule is transformed into this one by bending or by one of by transforming from one phase so this is the middle phase to transform this uh, this uh, conformation to this conformation so what is that middle transition state uh, to change from this conformation to this conformation? So this is the middle one, and uh, this transition state is uh, it's quite high in the transition state. It's 1.45 kilocalorie per mole. Okay. So the bar the barrier of for inversion in cyclobutane is 1.44 kilocalorie per mole uh, to convert from one conformation to the another conformation. So, so this is all about the stability and the cyclobutane uh, ring next molecule we will see now cyclopentane molecule which com comes under the common uh, common ring cyclopentane uh, and cyclohexane comes under the common rings type okay so cyclopentane is relatively stable in the involute conformation okay so this is the involute conformation four of its five carbon atoms lie in one plane okay one two three four is four atoms, four carbon atoms lies in the one plane, and with fifth carbon atom outside that plane, fifth carbon atom is a little bit, uh, which is pulling away from this plane of the molecule. Bond angles ranges from 102 degrees centigrade to 107 degrees. 107 degrees. In the inverted conformation, therefore, it has some angle strain. Strain is minimized by adopting a non planar configuration. Okay, so this is uh, information regarding the. Uh, uh, cyclopentane. Here I have given the all possible uh, conformations of cyclopentane. This is line formula, plane structure, Havoc formula of cyclopentane, envelope. Okay, so just we have seen before some time on previous slide envelope conformation. For these carbon atoms lies in the same plane, one carbon atom only lies uh, uh, outside this plane. Envelope conformation of cyclopentane and half chair conformation of the cyclopentane. Okay, these are the two conformation of cyclopentane. Now, how envelope conformations change to half chair? This one, okay, how this envelope uh, can uh, transform into half chair, okay, and half chair can change to envelope. Uh, look at the carbon numbers, okay, one. Two, th two, three, four, five. Then half chair again envelope transform into the half chair. Okay, so these are the some of the conformations of the envelope and how one can you know how one conformation transform into the another conformation in uh, cyclopentane. So in the conformation conformations proceeds through inversion in cyclopentane conversion of an envelope into a half chair proceeds through a mechanism described as a pseudo rotation so these all these are pseudo rotations okay so now the uh, we'll see a little bit theory about cyclopentane angles in the regular pentagon are one a one zero degree centigrade this is very close to the ideal tetrahedral angle of one zero nine point five degree centigrade okay uh, that's why cyclopentane as having i think low heat of combustion okay its uh, angle is uh, its uh, angle strain is lower because 108 degree centigrade angle is resembling to the standard tetrahedral 109.5 degree centigrade therefore cyclopentane were planar it would not exhibit any si significant angle strain okay so this is the reason why cyclopentane is <coughs> comes under the common rings and which is more stable followed by the cyclohexane ring however in a planar cyclopentane there would be high degree of torsional strain all 10 carbon hydrogen bonds would be in equilibrium conformation this is obvious from the havoc formula a havoc formula represents the ring as being planar and all bonds to substituents are represented as a being vertical as in case of cyclobutane a molecule of cyclopentane so we are comparing cyclobutane and cyclopentane as in case of cyclobutane a molecule of cyclopentane is not planar pentane it should be pentane here the overall strain is reduced by twisting the molecule out of the plane. But the angle strain is increased since valency angles becomes considerably smaller than 108 degree. Thus, in cyclopentane and cyclopentane, 
puckering of the molecule results in an increased angle strain. The CCC bond angle is already smaller than the ideal tetrahedral angle, and puckering further reduces it as the resulting structure is no longer symmetrical. Bond angles vary from 102 degree to 106 degree centigrade. In conclusion, cyclopentane has torsional strain and a very small angle strain. Okay, so uh, has a little bit torsional strain and having very small angle strain cyclopentane. Um, now, uh, uh, cyclopentane, uh, how we can uh, eclipse sort of things and partly staggered uh, conformations, how we can show the, um, the CH bonds. These are partly staggered. If they are eclipsed, then that one is uh, making molecule more uh, unstable. So energy or stability of envelope or half chair conformation. So here you can see envelope conformation is so interconversion of conformations of cyclopentane from envelope to half chair. Envelope is only slightly more stable by 0.5 kilocalorie per mole. Okay compared to the half chair, okay, half chair is slightly even uh, more unstable than the envelope and there is virtually no barrier to interconversion. Okay, so this is the energy level diagram to convert half chair to envelope, envelope to half chair. Uh, next molecule we will see now, uh, medium size or cycloheptane, we will go for the uh, different uh, conformations of, of the cycloheptane. 